welcome back. Sorry it's been a while. I had to do a video tonight because I'm really excited. I just called my wife out and said, come and have a look, quick. And uh, something's happened in the garden that I've been waiting for for years and I've tried to make happen myself for years and it never did, although it probably has and I never noticed. I've got a patch of purple vetch here. I think it's purple vetch. And those of you who've watched my videos will know that I often show a little clip of tree bumblebees on this vetch. But tonight I was sitting there watching them, as I do, and I followed where they went. And oh my God, if they didn't go to something right next door, not a tree, but something I've been spouting off about for ages and I've often commented with people about, as in nest boxes or old nests within nest boxes, particularly tip nests. And if I just take you up here, I was hoping to show you one of the bees on the vet, but it's got a little bit cold now, so you won't see them on the uh, purple vet, which is here. But I was sitting there and I followed one, and if I just take you in the trees here, you should see a tip box here, and wouldn't you know it, it's full of tree bumblebees, Bombus hypnorum. I'm so excited. I've never had it happen. And these must be, these bees must have been using this every year because they're always here in droves. And uh, wouldn't you know it, they're here this year as well. And I'm so excited that they've done it. Really am. I'll try and get a bit closer for you so you can do it. And I'll, I'll, I'll do a better video at some point. Let's just uh, take you in here. Excuse the camera work. I'm going to have to move all these branches. I'll try and get up close for you so that you can get a good view. They're not very big. I've seen bigger tree bumblebees, but these are obviously workers here. There we go. I don't know what they're doing. Guarding, maybe. But how beautiful is that? It's obviously a well-established colony in there because uh, I can kind of see some structure within the hole and there's certainly a lot of uh, bees on the outside there. I'm so excited, I'm really chuffed that they're here and that is only because I looked at this, I followed one up to this area and I thought what's that in that hole? Like orange blobs and it's the little workers there. You can see the pollen on the outside where they've been landing and crawling. I imagine in the hot weather, in the sun, it's a little bit cold, cold and cloudy tonight, but it's sunny now. That's going to be covered on, and I will come back to this for you because there's going to be people that are really interested in this, as I am. But there you go, I'm so pleased. It's taken, I don't know, 10 years and so many different tries with, although not necessarily for tree bumblebees, but it doesn't surprise me that they're in my boxes because I've got loads of boxes all over the garden. And uh, they do uncategorically use old tit nests. Or perhaps mice, I think somebody's mentioned in comments before, mice nests as well. But I can't see how mice would have got up here, but it's in a tree, it's probably the right height, right elevation and right um, facing the right direction not in direct sunlight under the tree a little bit it must be the perfect storm for these bees uh, because they're obviously doing really well in there it's it's what looks like chock-a-block in there but I will come back to it but I couldn't resist doing a quick video excuse me again I've got to come out of the tree so I will do another video but all these look that's too low down obviously for tree bumblebees but they've never worked i've got the pots here that are all uh oh, let me just zoom out that are all supposed to be uh the bumblebees they've never worked i've got other stuff too and uh if you've got some nest boxes and you don't don't clean them out i guess if you want bees keep i, I what my advice is to have a few nest boxes clean half out and leave the nests in the others and I don't think you'll be able to go wrong there. I'm so chuffed. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll, I will do some better camera work and set the tripod up and, and get some really good shots of those guys, perhaps in macro in the near future. But I wanted to show you all because I know 
my followers and subscribers will love it. Um, and like I say, it's I'm sharing it with you because it's it's uh, it's something that's special for you too. So cheers, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da.